Welcome to the 12th and last round of the Super GT 300 online championship. This is Karsten Tolkien. This race is gonna be the most important in the season. Oswalds had the pole and the, w the one of the first three cars winning here will bring home victory in the season. Hose had a good start, followed by Bakeminster and uh, logic at the Dunlop curves Oz is still in front the pack is, is quite uh, close to each other some touches between uh, the Subaru the two Subarus Bakeminster is re being really aggressive behind the hot wells trying to go to the inside and the outside then he dives in the inside and passes him we are now watching uh, Logic Line overtaking holes. They are touching each other. Approaching the long stride. G3 took second position using draft. Hecke is a bit le is a bit too back behind. Not the best track for his uh, championship challenge. Logic line drafting hard and trying to take first position at the chicane. Touches, touches between the cars, but everything quite clean still. No major problems. Draft is really important in, in such a long straight. Approaching Indianapolis. Logic goes wide, keeps accelerating on grass and loses his car. A major crash here. All the cars that were involved in this uh, really awful uh, accident lost chance to draft the others. Amongst them there was uh, Giprili, Skang and Karsten. Karsten was the one that had the worst of crash and was in last position, so he had to recover from zero draft for all the race. But we are back in, f in top position with Bakeminster, Oz and Pirates fighting each other. Here Oz is trying to attack and defend from uh, Pirates. Pirates uh, had just overtaken Oswells and here Oz tries to take back his position. Goes to the in the grass, pirates and holds on the outside, manages to pass him. This is Hecke fighting with Skang. Skang had that crash and uh, took his time to recover top positions. And here on lap 3, he manages to overtake Hecke. Kang had a great race trying to recover all the time lost uh, on first lap and he did manage well here we have Karsten and Flanked uh, fighting Karsten had already passed Logic and was trying to put pressure on uh, Flanked uh, that lost his car here and Karsten manages to pass him cleanly, quite dangerous situation, similar to the one before from Logic. Here again Hecke fighting with the Jeep really. They had different uh, pit strategies. A few cars managed to just stop once. And that and that uh, way of uh, racing Proved really fruitful. No way to do that on Lexus. Too much fuel, heavy consume. And here we have uh, Jeep really drafting and passing uh, Hecke quite easily.
Here we have Carson on 13th lap, just making some show for his fans, getting all the sideways. Not much for, to do for him, just bringing the car home, no one to draft, racing alone. And here we have on 17th lap out of 18, an exciting beautiful battle between Oswell and Giprilli. Giprilli is racing as a wild card and not going to be classified at the end of the race, but nevertheless his uh, comeback was a, an exciting one and it proved to be as fast as season one and here we have we are seeing a beautiful beautiful uh, battle between him and Hotswell that lasted at least two laps in the night here Hotswell managed to pass him but the fast Eric 7 of Jeep really will manage to take back first position in a few turns. What a beautiful fight! And for last lap, fireworks are starting. Jeep really is first right now, in, in second position Oz and in third position Skang. Behind them the two Subarus from Bakeminster and Pirates, then Hecke and Karsten, followed by Logic Line and Flanked. And this is the most important pass of the race we just saw. Hodge take getting rid of Gifrili and taking the lead. Gifrili would later crash and these are the last corners as seen from Hodge with fireworks saluting him as uh, the winner of uh, Sart race and the winner of the Super GT 300 online championship season 2. That's all in his hand and just four turns one two three and four and we just have to congratulate the beautiful uh, season of hot wells now we are seeing the final results i remember that Jeep really wasn't classified in the end this is all for this season and uh, this race from karsten see you next season bye